Welcome. We're going to work on the ASA review today. Okay, question one says distributed property. We remember we did this one before. Distributed property means like whatever you have outside of the parenthesis, you're going to distribute it inside whatever you have. So now in this question, negative five and then two plus three. Since we are using the distributive property, so we need to distribute the negative five to the two and also negative five to the three. So if I do it right at one more step, it's gonna be negative five times two plus in the middle and the negative five times three. Just do the math, that's gonna be negative 10 and then plus negative 15. But you know this positive times negative is negative, so that's gonna be negative 10 minus 15 which is both negatives. That means you're going 10 floors down and then 15 floors more down. So you're gonna be negative 25. That's the answer. So work on the other ones just as the same one and you can get it done. And let's say if I look at it, if I have a variable, what should I do? The same way, distribute the four to the X and distribute the four to the two. So four times X is four times X plus and then four times two. Four times x, so that's a four x. You can write it like that. And then four times two is eight. Now that's the answer because we cannot add x and then constant, like number. So that's your final answer. So go ahead and then complete the second one in the middle on your own. And once you're pause this video and then finish that one and then move on to the next question. Okay, all right, moving on to the next one now, factor. Factors are basically opposite to the what we did right now. Now, basically what we're gonna look at it here, since I have negative 25 plus 10, so I'm gonna look at it, what's the greatest common factor that I can take it out of these two? So if I look at it, 25 and 10, I think I can take out the five because I can write it 25 is 5 times 5, and then 10 I can write it 5 times 2. So in the both of them, I have the 5 common. So I'm going to pull it out. So I can take that 5 out, and then left with the negative 5 inside, this one here, plus, and here, 2 is here. Okay. So that's what you're going to write it here. Okay. Now what I did is basically, I see there's a highlighted five and five. Those, that's the one I pull it out and the rest of everything is inside. So when you write down here, you can write down the five here and then negative five here and then two here. So if I multiply back, I get negative 25, five times two, that is 10. Okay, so similarly, go ahead and then answer the other two questions. If you have a question, please ask so that we can help you too. Good. Now, once you're finished that one, let's move on to the next topic. Pause the video and finish the, uh, any missing work or missing questions on there, because on the paper you have more questions. Please make sure you finish all of those, so that way you get full credit. Now, the next one, so topic two, evaluate algebraic expressions. So whenever it says evaluate, that means basically you're finding the value of it. So right here is to find the value of expression when the variable is replaced or by the given number. So, or, you know, the so variable or the letter is replaced by the given number. So it's a letter by the given number. So now let's do this question here, the first one. So this says X is negative four. So that means we're gonna replace the letter or the variable with the negative four. So I'm gonna take that X out and put it in negative four there. So what happens? Negative four plus so it's negative four means you went down four four unit, four blocks down or four on the elevator you went down four and then went up five so it's going to get into the positive one okay that's it evaluate means you replace the letter or the variable with the given number and do the math okay go ahead and work on the other ones i can help you pause the video and then complete them Okay, I can help you with this one next. So in this case, M is given negative three. So that means you're gonna replace M with the negative three. 
So that's going to be a 4. 4m four means 4 times. Remember that, 4 times. So that's going to be m is negative 3 plus 12. So multiply them. 4 times 3 or negative 3 is negative 12 plus 12. Negative 12, positive 12. They're equal opposite pairs. That gives you 0 because you went down 12, 12 floors and went up 12 floors. So you're only ground floor like that. Okay, pause the video and finish the rest of the questions and then we can continue more. Okay, hope you finish already those questions on the paper. Let's move on to the next topic. It's a probability. So the probability is basically, you're gonna look at a how likely to happen. Let's say if you went outside and you, you see the sky, there's so much of dark clouds, you're gonna know it like 100% is gonna chances of rain. But it's no clouds, maybe you can say like, hey, there is no chance of raining or something like that. But in coming to this spinner wheel, or the spinner, how do you find them? So the first question says, what's the probability of the spinner not landing on A or C? So it's really important is not landing on A or C. So whenever you find the probability, first you count total how many are there. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six spaces we can see. So now six spaces, that's where you're gonna put it out of six not landing a or c so i'm going to skip a or c now see how many of the other ones are there so e e b and b so there are four of them so four out of six or you can say you can reduce it it's two out of three that's the probability so whenever you find the probability first you're going to count total how many and then you can look at it how many are going to be the favorable favorable means like how how many can come out of it okay let's look at uh, the next one i'll change the color do you have an equal chance of landing either c or e so let's see, check the possibility of landing on c c is only one out of six c is one out of six right c is one out of six but when it comes to the e how many E's are there? There are two of them, right? One, two. So two out of six. And one out of six and two out of six are the same? I don't think so. So are they equal chance of landing? No. Okay. Like that, you got to figure out this one. Good. All right. Keep going on. I'll skip a couple of these so you can work on the other ones. What is the probability of not landing on A? Not landing on A. So if I don't want to land on A, what are the other ones? What? One, two, three, four, five. So not landing on A is out of six. It's five. Like that. Just read the question, look at the picture, and just put the answers out there. Okay? Now, do you have a equal chance of landing either B or E. So let's look at the B or E. So how many Bs are here? So the B is two of them. So that's two out of six. And then how many E's are there? I think two out of six, two out of six. So both of them are equal. So you can say yes, like that. Okay. So please read the question carefully and then you can answer them easily out there. Okay, pause the video and finish the rest of the questions. And once you're done, let's continue the next one. So the next one is again, distributed property. Yes, we did it. So the question says, select correct or the correct answer is it's given an option. Sometimes you may have a more than one answer, just like in ASA. Use the distributed property of operations, choose the correct equivalent expression for the given expression. So they give you two parentheses three plus six y. So we got to find out which one are going to be the equal one. So two parentheses six, three plus six y. Now, since I see a parentheses and outside the number, let's distribute it. So two times three, I'm going to write it one step. And then again, two times six y. Two times three is six. 6 times 2 is 12, 
y. Now look at it, which one does look like that? I think b is the right answer on this case. I can see that, okay? That's the right answer. It's not 6y plus 12. You've got to be very careful where is that letter goes with the what number. Okay, good. Now on the second question, go ahead and then distribute each and see which one gives you 16k plus 24. Pause the video, finish your work, and then you can continue more. All right, let's move it on. Next one, algebraic expressions. And again, it says evaluate. Anytime you see evaluate, you're finding the value. So all you have to do is, do is replace the letter with the given variable or letter or number, just, you know, and then do the math. So I'm gonna do the number three. You can do the rest of them. So it says P to the third exponent, and then P values two is given to you. So I'm gonna replace letter P with the two. So it's gonna be a two to the third exponent. So two to the third exponents mean two times two times two, which is two times two is four, four times two is eight. That's the answer, okay? Just like that. Go ahead and then replace these letters and then and just do the math. Pause the video and finish the paper and we can do more. Good, hope you finish it and move on next. Again, the property again. So whenever it comes to the probability spinners, let's first count how many total possibilities are there. So total possibility, so I'm gonna start it from here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the total is 16. Oh, that's what you're gonna get first. Okay, now probability of choosing odd number. So odd numbers means like one, three, five, seven, those numbers. Now look at the odd numbers in this view. So the odd numbers are one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 odd numbers are there. So it's your possible probabilities, 10 out of 16. You can reduce, reduce it by two. That's five out of eight, just like that. So first you're gonna count how many numbers are there, and then you're gonna look at a, you know, whatever they're asking. Then you just count them, and then you should get the answers for them. Okay, let me clean this up since you already know it. Next, just work on the even same as this. Now looking at the prime numbers, prime numbers means it's only like, I wanna write it down. That's prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, not nine, 11, like that. So it goes on, the factors are one in itself. Those are called prime numbers. Okay, first of all, we know it's totally 16 of them. Now let me look at the prime numbers in this one. This is a prime, I'm gonna choose a color, maybe highlighter. So this is a prime, one is not a prime number. This is the prime, five is a prime, three is a prime, five is a prime, two is also prime, remember that. Two is the only even prime number. These are all primes. Let's count how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I forgot my count. I'll start again from two, right? Okay, it's gonna be from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine of those. So it's nine out of 16. So I can reduce it, that's all my answer is. Pause the video, finish the rest of them, and move on to the next. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Again, same with the probability, but this time you have a, a dice. So when you roll the dice, what possibilities, like what can you get through it? So you can get either one, two, three, four, five, six. So when you roll the dice, you can get a six possibilities are there. Okay, 
So now what we're looking at it, so is it more likely to that the cube will show a multiple of two or a multiple of three? Multiple of two means two, two times two is four, four times, all right, two times three is six, and these are multiple of two. Well, multiple of three is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, we don't have that. Now look at it, which one is more likely to get? So you have a more on multiples of two, so more likely to multiples of two, okay? Next, how likely the cube show a three? So three means it's three is log, you know, one, but total outcomes are like total. When you throw the dice, you get a six of them. And uh, three is like one of the numbers. So it's gonna be one out of six. Okay. So why it is just likely that the cube will show even number as an odd number? So even numbers are, let me get a highlighter. I have even numbers two, four, and six. So there are three of them. So the even probability of even three out of six. And then probability of odd numbers. So odd numbers, let's look at the odd numbers. So the odd numbers are one, three, five. So there's also three of them. So it's three out of six. So both of them are same. So we can say that there's they are just as likely as the same. Or you can reduce it to it's one half, one half, or you can say fifty percent. Okay. So pause the video and make sure you complete all of them. And once you're done, submit the paper so you can get a full credit, two hundred points. Thank you.